It's Eric Berthard's Horror Movie Marathon. Next up on my list is the original Dracula, who starred Bella Lugosi. In my honest opinion, out of all the actors who have played Dracula, Bella Lugosi has been the best. He is Dracula. I mean, look at him. That is Dracula. Those eyes, just how he stares at you. He is Dracula. Because the way he talked, like this. You, you know, like how he talked. And he, man, he was perfect. And I also heard that Bella Lugosi, who played Dracula, was supposed to play Frankenstein, but Bella Lugosi chose not to play Frankenstein because he wasn't going to have any lines, he was going to be covered in makeup, so he chose not to, but he would eventually play Frankenstein, I think it was in Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. I might be wrong though, I think that's the movie, but I could be wrong. And in 1999, Philip Glass, if you don't know who Philip Glass is, he did the music for Secret Window, which starred John Johnny Depp. And so, in 1999, Philip Glass made a complete new music score for, for the original Dracula. And to be perfectly honest, I prefer to watch this movie with the Philip Glass music score. I know there's going to be tons of people who are going to disagree like that. They say that it's just scarier with no music. But honestly, I think that the Philip Glass music makes Dracula a hundred times scarier. It just sounds more gothic and all that. Sorry if I haven't explained the plot in my review of Dracula and in my past review of Frankenstein, but really, if you don't know the plot to Dracula and Frankenstein, you've been living under a rock. So I really don't need to explain it. The acting, yet again, is fantastic. I really did not like any of the sequels to Dracula. The one, the only Dracula, is Bella Lugosi. That's like, you know, Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones. Nobody else can play Indiana Jones but Harrison Ford. Nobody else can play the Terminator but Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very good movie, and they made a Spanish version of this movie too. The Spanish version is surprisingly a little bit better. But anyways, still a good movie. I give it 5 out of 5. Go check it out. Stay tuned for more.